Um, I haven't heard of this formula team, so I'm gonna have to say Baja because there's nothing more BA than Baja. Baja is a lot more laid back in my opinion. Uh, you know, we get to play around in the mud, kind of fun. The suspension and traction, they're like, let's see if you can do this. Mm -hmm. And it's just more of a challenge to me. I think the, the top teams in Formula do better than the top teams in Baja engineering wise. But I think Formula produces a product that's not really viable in the real world whereas Baja does. Definitely say Baja just because of the endurance racing. You actually get to go on like the course with other people. It, it'd be different if Formula actually raced with other people though. Community. Uh, the Baja environment was more fitting to what I like as compared to the Formula environment. Yeah, our Formula team is pretty weird. Baja is actually more exciting than Formula Plus. You know, the, I, I love the fact of the all-terrain vehicles, so Baja any day. I like Baja because you don't have to spend nearly as much money to really make a great car. Um, for a university with limited resources, it's really a good thing for us that we're able to do Baja and compete at the highest level. Uh, Baja is more fun. You build a car with a lot of different capabilities. It has to handle, it has to travel off-road, it has to be quick. I did two years in Formula, and now this is my second year in Baja. When you're in Formula, you're designing cars for being on a track, you're on asphalt. I like being in Baja because I grew up out in the woods, hunting and fishing, just riding around through the mountains. So this fits me a lot better since I never really was much of an indie car guy anyway. Baja is basically everything you need to know to get into the real life engineering, you know, like it teaches you every process of designing and what engineering is about. And this is more of a design competition rather than an engine competition. It challenges us a lot more with designing a frame and suspension and the gearbox and all the powertrain rather than just uh, an engine. It opens it up to be a much more creative competition, I would say. I think I like more the Baja because everyone can drive it. Um, the formula at our school has, uh, it's a really nice team. We're really good friends with them and uh, they don't let any, like everybody drive, so if you're in the Baja, you can drive it if you want and test it out. So I think that's the main difference in my opinion. Our Formula team goes to competition like once every three years or so, so it's definitely a lot more out of it going to Baja, you know, we just go around, hang out. It's much more tighter brotherhood. Um, I think definitely Baja. Uh, we have a smaller group, we get to work more on the car and more driving time. Yeah, we just have a more exciting competition. Formula doesn't get to take that car off any jumps. Uh, I chose Baja just because it sh uh, suited my shade tree mechanic a little bit better. The off-road thing's huge for me. It's a ton of fun going off-road, being able to design suspension systems that can handle it. Formula can design their car to optimize for a specific corner. Um, because say they're coming around the corner they'll always see the same loading scenario every single time and they'll know all the variables within that um, corner that the car will see. Um, Baja is always changing and we never see the same obstacle twice. 